Self-care, 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 self-care. It's always gonna be a yes. Are getting ready to do an at home detailed maintenance blog in the comfort of my four walls we are doing the thing i cannot believe that i have turned into a diy girl everything may not be perfect everything may not be perfect but we are trying and this is going to be my first time really like doing the entire thing the entire thing so I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited to show you guys what we're gonna do in terms of maintenance today because your girl actually has a little date coming up and it's actually the end of July, beginning of August, and I want to incorporate doing maintenance like every month, once to twice a month. And that's maintenance, that's like within the realm of self-care. So self-care every week, <laughs> maintenance, one to two times a month so that is something that i'm implementing in my life and just like having on my little self-care robe because this is the self-care robe i feel so good already and your girl gets to save her coins yes ma'am yes ma'am so on the first ever maintenance at home list the first thing that we're gonna do is these armpits i've been saving them for y'all not even gonna lie i knew that i was gonna film this video and i was like i have to save these for you guys so don't be don't be shocked <laughs> don't be shocked <laughs> don't be scared so this is actually gonna be my first time using my new waxing like pot thingy so that's super exciting and yeah so we're gonna start off with waxing our underarms my eyebrows need to be done as well not sure if i'm gonna wax them <laughs> we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see and then after the waxing then we're gonna go into the nails so i just soaked these off last night so they're ready to go they're ready to go they're ready to go that actually took me super long so i'm glad that i did those last night we're gonna do the nails gel x because i have the whole gel x nail kit who is she she is that girl <laughs> diy call me miss diy yeah um yeah so we're gonna do the nails and then we're going to do my lashes and then for the last little bit we're gonna do my hair i'm thinking ponytail i have this curly ponytail that i haven't installed yet and i haven't tried it out yet and my hair is curly right now so i can't do while i don't want to do a straight ponytail because i don't want to have to blow dry my hair because i don't want to put heat on my hair so i want to see how the curly pony looks and if it looks crazy then we're gonna do a little slick back a little slick so that is everything that we're gonna do on this maintenance vlog so let's get into the waxing let's go so this is the waxing kit i think i picked this up in ross when i was in the u.s so this is the waxing kit it's the four in one waxing kit and it comes with a wax warmer wax beads strips and spatulas so we're gonna try to do my arms and then i'm gonna see if we could at least clean up the eyebrows because i'm i don't want to strip and then my eyebrows are like off no mind you psa i am not a professional so don't come for me because i'm not a professional okay So this is the wax warmer, I guess. The power cord, the little little sticks, these wax beads, lavender wax bead, and then a pink rose. I don't know. I think I want to go with the lavender because that sounds more like self care. The little wax strips. So we have all of the things out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. 
see what she does i looked at some videos but i think i'm gonna have to pull one up again just to refresh my memory of how to like the temperature and everything like that i know it's supposed to be really hot first and then you're supposed to like put it on medium heat and like test it Hey Siri, set timer uh -huh. to 15 minutes. 15 minutes, counting down. All right, so everything is all ready to go. I tested the wax. I'm gonna test it again because I'm a little scared on my wrist because that's what they said you're supposed to do. The temperature feels really good. Drum roll, please. These are the armpits. <laughs> Girl, never again. Let's start with this arm first. It's like wiping off the excess. <laughs> so I have my scoop. Oh, it's draining. Okay, okay, okay. I think, okay, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, I think I'm supposed to do it fast. Ah, that was a little hot. That was a little hot. I think that was a little too slow. Okay, we're ready. One. Two, three. What did I do? Literally hurt so terribly. Oh my goodness. Literally, I had to scrape it off. Thank God for coconut oil. I must say you're a soldier because that hurt so bad. That hurt so bad. I'm gonna give this off. My little break. We're gonna move on to this one. I literally can't believe that happened. What? I'm so scared still. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. One, two. Ah! Eek! Oh my gosh. You don't see the ears. Okay, I'm ready. Got the rest of it off. The pits are done. And I guess what they say is right. Beauty is paying because they look really good. I think it's the wax. I think the wax isn't good. I know that they said that um, like low quality wax beads usually like do what happened today. So yeah, girl, but we did it. We made it. And whew, girl, these pits need a break. They need a break. <sighs> All right. So the pits are done. Waxing done, y'all. It was a little bit of a traumatic experience. Um, but we got it done so next time definitely have to buy a different wax i decided that i want to do my eyebrows with a razor because girl this is supposed to be self-care and i don't want to put myself through any more pain now we're gonna go ahead and do the nails so i have my gel x nail kit i have all of the things i bought everything that i needed to do my gel x nails from amazon so i'm gonna go and watch a video that's gonna guide me with this so that i don't mess up because i've done it one time before and they came out really good so we're gonna try again and i think I don't know if I want almond or short squares, but we're gonna see. So I'm super excited. Let's get into the nails. 
for my nails today i'm gonna be doing some simple Joe x nails let's get into the nails so like i said this is my second time doing gel x nails so i was a little confident and i'm so proud of how the set turned out but of course we have to prep the cuticles first i have the what is this called again drill bit that is the electrical file the e-file that's what it's called the e-file and here i'm just prepping my cuticles prepping my nails so that they can be like rough and gritty so that the nails like really snatch on they're supposed to snatch on and then if you want them to really snatch on then you need some dehydrator i'm just going by what the professionals say i just listen to the professionals and that's what they say to do so i'm just following along your girl's nails were all prepped and dehydrated and ready to go y'all who am i i literally have a whole full on like all of the things not just all of the things but all of the things book me okay book me <laughs> like this experience on my first time doing like the entire thing at home it showed me how important it is to actually know how to do things because when your hairstylist when your nail tech when your wax tech when whoever decides to hey boo you you know what to do you you can go home and do what you gotta do you know what i mean but i think it's just important for woman to at least know how to do at least one thing when it comes to maintenance and taking care of yourself and it doesn't have to be expensive like you don't have to go out there and spend money like tons of money like you can invest in things that you can do at home well this is how we're looking so far we're almost done <laughs> but yeah girl a long story short this is something that you need to implement into your routine into your month do something for you do something that you can do in the comfort of your home me doing this was so therapeutic for me you know me one thing i love is to be in the comfort of my home what's better than pampering yourself at home like what is better i encourage you to try it out i encourage you to you know invest in some things because trust me you will get a return on your investment a return on your time on your money and at the end of the day you're gonna leave out looking and feeling so good because baby after this i was like mm -hmm, yeah i'm really that girl like i can do it with a technician like with a professional or i can do it at home your girl is a superwoman like god has gifted your girl like god has given us like so many talents and gifts but this was i usually do almonds but i've decided to do some short little milky white nails because i miss my short squares but there's just something about almond that screams classy but baby a milky white square set look at this is gonna hit every single time and i love minimalist nails like if you want to do a design if you want to give me a design not too much like i want to keep it nice clean classy cute collective yeah i'm definitely a neutral girl i'm a pinky girl i'm a frenchy girl i am not too much like don't do too much just keep it clean keep it cute but i love how this set turned out comment below and let me know what you think you think your girl did that do we think we did that our nails are done now <laughs> this is my first time like doing these little short little milky white nails of course they're not gonna look perfect but girl i think i did that <laughs> i did that anyway we are going to move on to our hair this curly pony it's like a drawstring ponytail that i got from amazon and if i don't like it just gonna put my hair in a bun <laughs> i'm gonna start off by using the eco styling gel it's crystal styling gel max hold because that's what i need do you see this max hold okay i don't care for it to like be super flat but i want to try to get it as flat as i could so i might have to use two scrunchies i wish i had some hairspray 
to kind of lock it in place, but I don't. And now I want to put it on the perimeters to really give a look. Girl, if this looks bad, I will scream. That looks pretty slick to me. Like I said, it's like a drawstring situation. Girl, that's what we might have to do tonight if this don't look good. Really don't want it to give like granny. All right, y'all, what do we think? Y'all like it or it's too much? Anyway, we're gonna do our eyebrows and our lashes and then we'll see. But it's definitely giving like, <laughs> look at me. Today I was a wax technician a nail technician and a hair stylist all right so let me go and do my eyebrows and then my lashes and then we'll wrap up this little video i don't know i'm a little indecisive i actually really like this knot bun hairstylists make executive decisions i'm actually going out tonight so yeah i feel i feel like that hair is, is just so much it's too much and it's not giving like elegant classy like the nails are giving elegant and classy and the hair is giving rah. girl did you tell me not did you tell me not to wear that because if you didn't I want to like redo it because I didn't put much product here because I thought it was just going to be like a hidden. So I'm just going to wet this a little, a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to use this TGIN. My holy grail. I love TGIN so much. I'm going to take this out. Re my hair for the last time. The last time I promise. I feel like the ponytail. I don't even know why I bought that. Because it's not like a straight ponytail. Straight ponytails are classy, but like the curly one, it was just doing too much for me. Honestly. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lay my baby hairs down until later. So, yeah, I like it. All right, so don't judge me. Girl had to do what a girl had to do. Do not follow this step, please. But my eyebrows, y'all, look at that. Why are you here? And you're right, I picked it. Um, Like, the eyebrow bumps are so annoying. So annoying. On top of that, my eyebrows, like... They're crying out for help, so I usually get my eyebrows done because your eyebrows are like an essential part of your face, but I didn't have time to do that. So we have to resort to the blade. Like I said, this is not a, an actual eyebrow razor. I couldn't find mine, so I gotta use what I gotta use. So I have a little... Um, Thing of alcohol that I'm just gonna spray to make sure that my eyebrows don't get infected. This is a true DIY, I must say. So, okay, okay. I'm only gonna clean up my eyebrows just slightly. Just gonna clean up around them because I don't want to do too much, like I said. Y'all, my eyebrows are, they're a little wonky. It's like, they grow in like hills and valleys. So that's why I get them professionally done because I really can't do them myself. So I think that this is the best that we're gonna get. And I think it looks cleaner now. So that was good. At least I still have eyebrows. Like I said, go around the edge. I don't think I did too shabby. Um, I think that they definitely look cleaner than they did look before. 
they're red so I need to like cool them down a bit yes they look much better much better don't try that at home <laughs> So, because like I said, I'm going out later tonight and I want to kind of like start prepping my face now and my eyebrows are still kind of red so I want to use this to kind of tone down the redness and just get my face to be cool, you know? This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Drops, Dew Drops. It's for the ultimate glow and brightening. So, I'm just going to put on... Oh, do y'all see this? It's so good. The skin is glowing. The redness looks like it's coming on a little bit. All right, so we're almost done. The last thing that we're going to do since the face is all set and the hair is done nails done nails done hair done everything done, everything done. the last thing that we need to do is the lashes and these are the last extensions that i'm going to use as y'all could tell your girl is a little pro she's been doing it for a little minute because we're almost done so this is by the brand ql this is the extensions and they have the label here so 10 12 14 16 and 18 so i kind of use like a cat eye effect so i kind of like start from the longest and then go inward a little bit smaller and this time i think i'm actually gonna start inward and go outward this is so simple and so easy y'all like literally if i could do it y'all saw how the maintenance went like by the grace of god we got it done and I think we're going to do better in the future <laughs> with everything. But um, yeah, if I could do it, we could do it. So this is the lash bond and the lash seal. So that is what we're going to use. We start with the bond. And I'm going to do this eye on camera. And then I'll do this eye off camera. You literally just swoop, 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 swoop. Yeah, so you just want to make sure that it's really coated with glue. Not too much, but, you know. And especially the inner corners because they give me the most problems. So I want to start with 10s and work my way up to the lash cluster. In 10, so you just look down at a mirror or something. And boop! That's literally it. That's, that's it so let's go in again with another 10 and boop. we're gonna go in with the 12 and let's go in with the 14 some 16s at the end girls you see the difference I want to put one more 16 at the end and then I just like mush them together just feel to see like if anything's poking you anything that you need to adjust I wear contacts so like for my hands to be in my eyes like it doesn't bother me um, at all y'all look <laughs> lashes just they just give like they just give so i've seen persons like double stack their lashes if you want like a more thicker look i feel like these lashes are dark enough and they're doing what they're supposed to do already so i'm not gonna double stack but i have done that before like at the end just to make it like a little so you can do that with these lashes too girl you could do whatever you want to do follow your own lash map live your best life do all 10s do all 12s do whatever feels best for you so this is this lash i think it came out really cute and i could definitely see the difference now like in my eyebrows and the way that i shaped them up so i'm gonna go and do this 
eye off camera, but first let's see. Y'all already, y'all know what to do. Y'all know all the tea, what I do for maintenance DIY. So this is how the seal looks. This is the wand. So this is how the seal looks. Literally, I just take the little ball and I just lift the lashes up and seal. Be careful to not get it in your eyeball. Just seal it really good. And sometimes I go on top just for extra security. We are all done. The lashes are done. The nails are done. The hair is done. The waxing <laughs> is done. So this concludes our first maintenance DIY at home vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Well, we had some ups and we had some downs. But that is what makes it all the better. <laughs> so I love you guys. And make sure that you learn at least one thing. Come back with at least one thing that you're going to do or that you want to learn to do. Because as you can see, it ain't we don't always got to spend your coins at the salon, you know? I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>